Alright, so we're out here again at the pet store. Gonna give it another try this evening. Adjusted the settings on the anti-bark collar. And what we're gonna try to do still is start from further back and move in. He does much better reactivity wise if the dog isn't moving towards him. Um, so we might have to get him to walk in the other direction as they approach and then as they leave, let him see that way. If he uh, starts to overreact again, we'll try to redirect him and turn him around, get him to focus. But usually in these scenarios, he just gets too amped up and isn't focusing for treats, but we could try also a higher value reward as well. I'll probably pick some up tomorrow. I think he did really well with the other little dog, but that was just because he wasn't just fixating on them, is the thing. And we do want him to get used to seeing another dog and not overreacting, so we, you know, we don't want to be too far and we don't want to just keep his focus on us the entire time. So it's going to be just about kind of fine-tuning that balance for his family. See a couple pups in the store already, so I'm gonna to try to get him going here. It's where they come out and we're right in front of the path. Wanted to try to go to the dog park, but the the traffic on 95 today was a, a little bit too busy. I just wanted to work on some other things as well and not just sit around in traffic all day. Hi. Chip. Boy, just gonna practice him redirecting his focus when he gets distracted using his name. The pup should be coming out soon, so I'm gonna start him facing this way while I'm looking back the other way. Good boy. So last night we started at the first bench, I think here Gonna make it a little bit easier, hopefully, and start off a little bit further at the second bench. We'll see how he does. Good boy. Good. Oh, good job. So I got him focused on me. I had some people coming in and out. I'm just waiting for uh, for our pup here. Good boy, wait. He's doing better about sitting and staying. Still definitely gets antsy after not too long because he likes to likes to be doing something. So we'll do a combination of his sit stays as well as his leash work while we're out. It's also a good way to kind of keep him. Uh, it's also a good way to kind of keep him motivated and following us instruction wise, and helps to keep him from just getting bored. Chip, good boy. You know, got a couple of people coming in. See if this last gentleman has any pups with him. Nope. Okay. Good boy. Yeah. At least the gear is doing well, helping him from uh, continuing to pull when he hits the uh, the end of the leash boundary. Good boy. I notice he doesn't usually bark at people or kids. I think a lot of it is, yeah, that excitement. You can kind of see it building up here when the kid's running around. And then also, it didn't help that they were uh, they were playing soccer too, right? So he's just getting excited from the kid running. And we want to, want to try to redirect his focus back over here. Chip, 
Yes, good boy. Good job. Oh. Good boy. So a lot of it is just excitement, but because he's such a big guy and he's so loud, it can seem very scary. And then you combine that with him pulling against the leash to get to whatever he's interested in, and sometimes that can cause frustrations too. Good boy. Excuse the person with the cart. Good boy. I don't want him to get too far because any, any minute now there should be a dog coming out of the store. Got some more kids coming into the store. They did not bring their dog with them. Good boy. Hi. Yeah, another car that parked. They didn't bring the dog either. Yeah, dog park would be almost too much for him because of all the running and playing and the excitement. So it can take a long time um, and starting off from really far away to get him to kind of settle. Oh, uh, here it's, here's our pup. Come on, big guy, look. He's distracted with the person. Good. Good boy, Chip. 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 Yes, good boy. Good job. Getting distracted by all the people. That's fine. Good boy. Okay. Let's go check out the dog. Dog, come on. Let's go look at the dog go. Good boy. There we go. Good. Okay. Now I'll leave it. Yes, come, good. All right, so that was really good. Combination of the, the practice earlier, made some adjustments on the level of his collar, but we didn't need it, which is great. And then just starting off a little bit further to make it easier for him. So hopefully we'll see another, another couple pups or so. We'll just hang out here. Hi, how you doing? Good boy. Yes, good job, perfect. Keep practicing him, seeing people and refocusing back onto us as opposed to just going going head, head first into them. Good boy. It'll just depend on how busy his neighborhood is too, uh, how many dogs there are around. The parents would be able to get plenty of practice at home or be able to Kind of have to search for for things here. Right. Just walk around for a little bit, let him use his nose. I'll try to check the store to see if I see any other pups in there. Oh, lots of people running around today. Wonder, it shouldn't be that late. I don't think the stores will be closing. Okay. All right. No pups in the store or anything, so we'll go ahead and keep on rolling. <laughs> Come on, big guy. Good boy. Very busy in there. Got another kid running around there, but his uh, his nose is on the ground. It's another good reason why you'll want to practice this in kind of a distracting area, so that way you can have. 
the environment kind of help you out every now and then too. Just want to make sure he's not getting into anything. Leave it, bud. Good boy. God knows what we're licking at there. Good boy. Good boy, this way. Yes. You hear the squeaky toy. Come on, big guy. Good boy. Watch out for that gum. I think it's gum, I don't know. Oh, there's a pup. Good boy. Good boy, Chip. <laughs> Just say hi. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Good boy. <laughs> He's distracted by the little puppy behind you. If you. Uh... <laughs> Good boy. I've always wanted a big girl. Beautiful. Thanks. Yeah, he's only a puppy still too. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, you shy big guy. There you go. Thank you guys. <laughs> Good boy. This way, big guy. Good boy. Good. And that worked out really well. He definitely still saw the pup, but then he wasn't able to kind of just maintain a fixation on them because he was uh, <laughs> getting some attention from the, from all the kids. But he definitely saw the dog and didn't react, so that was good. I was a little worried that he would start barking while the kids were petting him and maybe startled him, but he did well. <laughs> good boy. So now we also know that there is a little pup in there. So we'll, we'll wait for them to come back out. Hopefully we'll, we'll get in a couple more pups before before we have to head back in for dinner. Good boy, this way. Yes. Uh. Oh, there they are. They're actually coming over this way too, so we want to make sure he does start overreacting. That we'll go ahead and turn around, but it looks like, oh, he's interested in the bag. Good boy, Chip. Good boy. Kids running. Seems like he's almost more interested in the in the kids running than the than the dogs tonight. So that's good. Good boy.
Hmm. Don't know if that was the same small dog or a different one. See if this person getting out of their car has a uh, has brought their pup with them. Maybe. So is promising when they walk over to another side of the car. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them a little bit further back this way. Get them started. Good boy. Uh oh no. It's like they're maybe grabbing bags for a, a return or something. Good boy, hi. Good boy. Had a pretty good midday session here after his leave it session, but um, we only ran into one pup. So. I wasn't recording because I had to use the camera for the other dog. Oh, they're just walking around. <laughs> Easy, bud. So you see when he starts to pull, it'll, it'll bother him. Good boy. See is the uh the other pup there walking. Don't want to make it difficult for other people as well in case their dog starts barking out of control or pulling. So we want to try to try to be mindful of these things. Looks like they might just be practicing some leash work and he's the, his pup is getting distracted by him. Come on, bud. Good boy. Well, we got skateboarders coming in, so this should be interesting. Sorry, bud, nowhere to run. <laughs> it could have been worse. <laughs> Good boy. Good job, big guy. Oh, there we go. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Come. Uh uh. Yes. Good boy. Hey. Yes. Good boy. So there, because he was behaving really well and watching him the whole time. Without reacting, a lot of that is just the fact that he might have been already on, on edge and hyped up from the, the skateboarders, too, that went by. Which is another reason why sometimes the dog park isn't the best place for beginning uh, to work on behaviors like this, just because if he doesn't have enough time to kind of settle down between instances, that excitement and stuff can make it, uh, make it hard and kind of transfer over through to the next one. So he's able to kind of take some treats while still looking at the dog over there. So that's a good sign. I'm going to let him continue to look. Good boy. As long as he doesn't bark, right? Because I'm really trying to get him used to seeing another pup and not overreacting. Come on, big guy. Good. So he's he did well there, and you can tell that he wasn't so so amped up like it was the other night because he was still able to kind of refocus and take treats relatively easily. Uh, we'll try to hold out for for one more uh, for one more pup. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Good boy. This way. Yeah, 
It looks like they're just doing laps around the parking lot, so they might be just practicing some leash work or something. And be careful of uh, any food and stuff underneath the bench there. Boy. Oh, starting to get cold again, big guy. Not bringing a jacket. Good boy. All right. Looks like we got another car coming into the parking lot. We'll see if uh, we'll see if they have anybody. Good boy. All right. We'll go ahead and call it if this uh, this car doesn't have a pup. He's been doing pretty well today, so head back home and get some dinner. Actually, got two cars that pulled up too, so that'll be good. Good boy. Uh, one. Two, yeah, no pups. All right. Well, at least he got to see a couple and he did really well. Good boy, big guy.